welcome to day two of the 14th annual PSASA convention. Today I'm going to be speaking to Casper Craven, who is one of the keynote speakers. Now Casper is here from the UK, thank you for being with us. You are a global keynote speaker, an entrepreneur, an adventurer, I want to say a, ma a magician, a strong man, <laughs> get as many yeah, titles that, as we that, can that, get. That would be made up, but thank you. <laughs> Casper, your, your keynote focused on something so important to speakers in mm. the sense of how to turn stories into speeches. Yes. Can you give us your kind of top three pieces of advice on, on how to do that? Okay, so I think the, th the first thing is that we all have unique stories that you know, are uniquely our own. But here's the important thing. Those stories are never about us, which I know sounds counterintuitive, but it's taking those stories and finding the relevance in those stories for every single person in the room, because it's always about our audience and the impact we're going to have on them. So it's taking your stories and then saying, what is it about these stories that is relevant for every single person out there and extracting those lessons and making it relevant, making it valuable. So that's the first thing. So starting with your stories and then finding the value for everybody else in those. I think the second thing then is um, all about humility and finding the mistakes, the struggles, the learnings in your world and sharing your pain, your experiences because I can guarantee you that people in the audience will be able to relate to that at different stages in their journey. So showing that authenticity, that vulnerability, and then extracting the lessons, because again, you're not really talking about yourself. You're talking about the journey that every person is going along um, and helping them find that. So I think that's the second thing around the stories. And then I think the third thing is about humor as well. So finding things that people can laugh about, laugh about yourself, first and then find that for everybody else because that just lightens the mood and it makes it easier to digest the information. So I think those are the three things I would suggest. Okay, so the universal human experience, mm -hmm. finding the humour and sharing the pain, the humanity that, that, that we all share. Absolutely. So in, in that context, how do you decide which stories to choose? Because we've all got yes. a million stories. So, so how do you decide this one is a cracker, this one maybe not so much? <laughs> so it all starts with knowing your audience and thinking about what's super, super important to them. So I shared a story yesterday that um, I did a talk for, um, for the, the staff at a school and I shared this story and the headmaster came and said, that was amazing, that was brilliant. Can you come and speak to all of our students? So I went and spoke to all the students and I said, can you imagine being stuck in the middle of the ocean with your wife and three young children? And I had this blank room looking back at me because of course none of them could understand that, right? And so the first thing is like tuning into your audience and saying what's really important to them, where are they in their journey? And then finding the stories and most importantly, the insights and the messages that will impact them. So in that sense, one's speech and how you construct it is really can, can never actually be made in isolation. You always need to know who your audience are beforehand, before picking the stories to insert into whatever your message is. Correct. So when I came here, I wrote, complete, I wrote a completely new speech um, for, for, for the audience here, thinking about what are the challenges they're going through, what would be most valuable for them. And yes, I have core building blocks of my stories. Right. And so those come into play, but then it's saying, well, what's the message? And therefore, which of these thousand different stories that I have are the most relevant ones for this audience? And what's the message that I want to land with them? So thinking specifically about that for each and every audience. Brilliant. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. So there you have it. Pick your stories according to your audience. Remember to retain an element of humor, an element of humility. And what was the other one? I don't know. I can't remember now. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Make it, the uni so, no, the universal about, human experience. Yeah, exactly. Well, there fine. you go. Yes. <laughs> the authenticity. Yes. And absolutely. even sometimes forgetting. Absolutely. Yeah. Because that, that's human too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. We'll be back with more interviews from day two of the PSASA annual conference. Thanks for watching.